Hello YouTubers, subscribers new and old, random passers by, you each receive an equal portion of gratitude for increasing my view count. Should upon completion of this humble offering you deem it worthy of a thumbs up, you'll receive a share of my sincere gratitude. Those lucky viewers who go on to press the subscribe button and notification bell of course can consider themselves winners of gloating rights over my sincerest gratitude along with prompt notification upon upload of future videos. Some of my cherished long term subscribers might be shaking their heads in disapproval of yet another Bigfoot video. Perhaps starting to wonder if I've quit calling bullshit to take up peddling bullshit. It may seem like a major change in direction for this channel but rest assured it's not permanent and contrary to what you may be thinking right now it's totally relevant. I've been looking into so-called conspiracy theory for a long time before I started this channel and had been toying with the idea of starting a YouTube channel for a while. I had had a few ideas for videos and even started a couple but it didn't feel sincere. Then Flat Earth came on the scene. I spent a couple of months watching videos and pondering before I tried to curvature test for myself. For myself, for myself, for myself. The first one, across Wellington Harbour, seemed to show no curvature but there were too many variables. Then I remembered that on a good day you can see the Kaikoura Ranges in the South Island from Wellington's south coast. So I set to work on my second curvature test. To be honest, I expected that over such a huge distance, at that stage everyone else was working on much smaller distances, I'd find the expected curve or close to it. But I didn't. I didn't find any curve. That's when I started my channel. Over the next couple of weeks I felt like I was tripping. It's honestly the closest analogy. It was like a weight had been lifted and I felt at peace, more sure than ever of the existence of a benevolent creator. A lifetime of programming and indoctrination had melted away. I could look at things objectively again. And I wondered to myself, if we've been lied to about this, what else? This is where Bigfoot enters the picture. Imagine you're an ordinary country guy, a hunter, see. You've been out in the woods most of your life. You think you know everything that's out there and nothing scares you. Then one day you're out somewhere that you know like the back of your hand and you cross paths with something that isn't supposed to exist. You've heard of Bigfoot of course and you've even mocked and ridiculed a local farmer at the pub for bringing it up but that doesn't cross your mind because well they don't exist and this thing's a monster almost twice your height and must weigh about a thousand pounds. So your brain, with no frame of reference, sends your body into shock. It roars at an almost impossible level, shaking you like concert PA speakers. You still can't move, possibly out of sheer terror, and you realise your bells have erupted. You look up again and the thing's gone. Just disappeared. This is a fairly typical Bigfoot encounter. People tend to take it one of two possible ways. Either they attempt to pretend it never happened, never speaking about it even if asked, and try to move on with their life, often after moving to the other side of the country. Or alternatively, after getting over the initial shock, they spend all their spare time researching the creatures. And eventually they go out and look for more, and maybe even start a YouTube channel. Which was exactly what I did when I found out that the construct of physical reality was not as described. I wanted to tell everyone, but soon found out that people don't respond well to those who challenge their reality. The same goes for Bigfoot eyewitnesses. They are met with ridicule, often by close family and friends. And that hurts. 
Flat earthers and Bigfoot witnesses have a lot in common. Both have found out that humanity has been lied to about something fundamental. The physical construct of this realm we inhabit and the fact that we share it with another species of sentient bipedal creatures which even share our genetics. So to all those subscribers who join me for the Flat Earth material, I urge you to stick around as I continue to explore what has to be one of the biggest cover-ups ever perpetrated upon humanity. Because to the outsider looking in, Flat Earth sounds way more ridiculous than the existence of Bigfoot. And to my new subscribers, I urge you to check out my earlier material, particularly my channel intro and to go through my Flat Earth and Foundations of History playlists. Because each of my videos is just a small piece of the big picture. And hopefully you'll soon realise, like I have, that despite how grim it can be to be awake, this world is pretty amazing. amazing.